Good morning. Uh, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to show you how I make and prepare all my animals meals. I don't know if you can hear but my lorikeet is screaming in the background that she is hungry. So I'm going to go get all their bottles and I'm going to scrub them all and basically show you my morning routine of feeding 15 to 20 animals. I'll do a head count right now. My lorikeet Avery and two lorries, Skittles, and where's Marble Man? Marble Man is over there protecting the bowls, so he's gonna bite me when I try to get him. And we go. Airlock. Skittles has to jump on my shoulder. This is the game we play of me trying to get bowls. Isn't it? Is this the game we play? Yeah? Oh, it's a, that game worked well because he's going to fall off it in a sec. Munchkin. Munchkin beauty bowls. I'm glad you're taking my bowl out. Yes, I did because you pooped in it yesterday. And now to prepare the bench. This is just getting all the fruit and vegetables out for all of the animals in the fridge. And then laying out every single one of their bowls so that I can see everyone that needs to be fed. Chopping board, sharp knife. And we start with salad mix. I just buy the pre-mixed bag of greens. It's got a little bit of Asian greens in it. It's got some spinach, it's got some rocket, it's got some lettuce, so they all get a bit of variety. And lorikeets get the greens, all the lizards get the greens. And then some capsicum chop it up into bite-sized pieces so it works their teeth and keeps them in good oral health. I put in some yellow squash. All these vegetables are for the lizards. The lorikeets don't really get vegetables, they all get fruit. That's, oh, I lie, that's broccoli for the lorikeets. They like pulling that apart and throwing it on the ground. Next they get some carrot, which is nice and crunchy for their teeth. For the lizards, same again, small bite-sized pieces. Uh, the grapes are for the lorikeets, so I just split them in half and they throw them all over the ground. Those are cherry tomatoes for the blue tongue lizards only. Um, that's sort of like a fruit for them. Uh, I don't really give that to my bearded dragon so much. This is boiling water for the lorikeet mix to come. I just prep it in the bowls a little bit earlier so it cools down a little bit. Next I'm going to get marinara mix for the turtles. I just put it in a bowl with a little bit of cold water to thaw out because I keep it in the freezer. That way it desalts it a little bit and thaws it out. Then I've got insectigold from Arcadia for the beardies and the blue tongues. I'm going to mix that up with hot water as per their instructions and let it cool for a little bit until it turns into a gel. So I'll set that aside. Now I'm using grain free dog food to feed the blue tongue babies. It's got vegetables and meat in it. Um, and it just fattens them up real quick. This is the lorikeet food I use. It's Passwell's lorikeet mix. I just put two scoops in the hot water and mix it up. Next I get grain free dog food and I'm just giving that to my dogs for breakfast as well. I usually give them mints but I'm all out of it. 
get some kibble. And then I'm going to use the Arcadia gel and make up small balls and put that through all the lizard salads. Now we have breakfast for lorikeets, dogs, blue tongues, beardies, and turtles. You ready for breakfast? Yeah, keen as a jelly bean. Hello, children. So then this is the next game Marbles and I play. I put down one bowl to distract him. So I can put the other bowl in. I'm going to do it, obviously. What's happening here? I need to tighten that one. And then he just throws it all on the floor. Super fun. Yes, I know. You gonna go eat? Breakfast. Go get it. Go on. Good girl. Good girl. Is that yummy grape? You're dropping it on the floor. Are they happy? A sad face. Are you ready to eat? Where's your bowl? You gonna come outside lunch? You come eat outside? There you go. Ready, Miss? Come inside. I have to eat separately because Miss gobbles really fast. And then goes and eats munchkins and munchkins too polite to say no. That's the saw shell. See if you'll come forward now that I'm here. Hi, buddy. So that's curly. We're just getting there in our mix. And then here's the short neck set up. Are we going to turtles? Oh, throw that stuff in and I'll miss it completely. Not one of them seen it. The other one's just getting in the way. Oh, and he's distracted. There we go. So it always takes us up to the corner so we can't get stolen. Oh, you gobbled that up. We've got Grammys in here, Rosie Barnes, Platties, I think. Some catfish. Oh, the glare is awful. Here is the long neck turtle. His tub's getting a bit dirty. But I'm releasing him today, so this is just a quick feed before we get released. And you're just going to ignore it, aren't you? Cool, good job. You're beautiful though. Yeah, you are. I'll carry Ron's meals to the reptile room without having to make heaps of trips. Hashtag be lazy. I don't know if you can see anyone there. These guys are getting released today. So just a quick meal before they go. It's a nice hot day for release. It's going to be a couple of hot days ahead, so they'll have time to establish themselves and get the Oh, someone's in the shed. Look at you, hey? I might wait for you. Mm -hmm. Chicken? 
once you've made a mess of this, I'll come clean this out. What do you think? Okay, keep putting on a bit of weight, which is good. Hello, my sweet. Same for you. Make a mess of this and then I'll come clean you up. Hello, mama. I've left your bowl behind. Hang on. Go get your Very comfortable way to eat. So hanging over the ledge. Hey, weirdo. Which I call a full chunky sausage. Yeah, that nice bulge. Thanks for watching today guys. I hope you enjoyed seeing 30 plus animals being fed in my house. That whole process takes uh, about 30 to 40 minutes every single morning. Um, so if you are thinking about having a lot of pets, just factor in whether you've got that sort of time in your day. Uh, it takes a lot of work, but I really enjoy making sure that they're all eating really well. They've got good foods. I love watching them eat because I'm super creepy like that. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. You obviously are super creepy too. <laughs>